What's going on guys, Trident Airsoft here. Today we are back with another review of uh, a gun and today we are gonna be taking a look at the KWA QRF Mod 2 customized completely by Umbrella Armory. Now, this guy right here is a prototype gun. So Umbrella Armory has not released the final version yet. This is just a step that they took in the process of making it. So as you guys can see right here, um, you do have that angled trigger, um, the speed trigger. It's in silver, not the red as Umbrella Armory is known for, but I do think that with this gun, it looks a lot better. Um, the silver goes well with the black. In this gun also, you actually don't have the Umbrella Armory R-Hop. You just have the regular standard KWA one that came with it. Now, I was talking to them and they actually found that it works better on um, the standard, um, the one that comes with it, the stock hop up than the Umbrella Army one does. So they played around with that. The final one could have the Umbrella Army one in it. You don't know. Um, but again, this is just a prototype. Now, I did add a couple things onto this guy once I got it. I added a couple rail pieces right here. Um, it is an M-Lock style rail piece. It also has a slanted foregrip as well as the Noveski um, tracer unit. Now, also otherwise, known as the uh, flashlight is the TRL-1 HL, and it's from the Streamlight. And then on this side, I actually got my own run cam. And uh, if you guys do follow my Instagram, you would have seen me posting about this, but I was able to find the Brain Exploder run cam mount. So all in all, great stuff on this guy. Um, and to top it all off, I do have just a regular Hiram um, red dot. I'll put all the links for everything in the description below. But uh, but yeah, it does come with, it did come with seven mags um, from KWA. So. That is one of the things that a lot of people don't necessarily like about the QRF Mod 2 is the fact of the mag. So yes, it is angled backwards. For me personally though, I do like the reload time because when you're reloading, it's you shoot and you pull it down. Now, when with the KWA QRF Mod 1, it's angled more towards that. So yeah, it's a little bit different, but for me personally, when I'm running around, if I'm running a little bit faster and playing at a faster pace, I do find that this is better, better in terms of reload speed. Um, they also added the PTS grip on this guy, but everything else is exact stock. Um, I was able to get a, a battery extender for um, from AirTech Solutions on this guy, so it normally comes without one. And it does use Deans, so it's not a regular LiPo battery. You would have to get a connector if you have any LiPos, and the connector is just a LiPo to Deans, very easy to get, and it uses an 11.1. But, um, but yeah, we are going to, in this video, take a look at how it shoots, how it runs, everything like that, just like we did with the Umbrella Army Oka, and uh, hopefully this will basically give you an idea if you want to get it yourself. Um, a few things that we're going to go over in the video is the range. So with 0.28, I think it is, I'll confirm that later on, um, we'll take a look at that. It will also take a look at how it does in the nighttime and windy conditions. Um, it is out, it is December out, so it is quite cold here up in Massachusetts, but, um, but yeah, we're going to see how it does. So. We'll head over there and uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, guys, so welcome out to the field test. We're going to be taking a look at how this gun performs in outdoor settings. Um, you will be able to see an indoor video with this being used later on. Um, currently, all the fields are closed right now in both Massachusetts and Rhode Island. So unfortunately, I cannot play any at, at any indoor fields currently um, to test this guy out. But as soon as I can, there will be a video for you guys up and ready to go. But uh, what we're first going to be taking a look at out here is the FPS. So how FPS is performing in a colder setting out sore, as well as with 0.28 gram BBs um, by HPA, the biodegradable ones. Um, so 0.28 BBs in both binary, semi, and full auto. So we're going to be taking a look at all three, and uh, we're going to be seeing how it performs. So let me turn on our tracer, or sorry, I'm sorry, excuse me, a our FPS reader. And we should be good to go. Yep, it is on. I will list all of the FPS counters up here and the average as well. So first, we're gonna be taking a look at semi. So this is semi with 0.28 gram BBs. All right, so I put through 102 BBs there, 102 BBs, and we had an average of 299.8 literally almost perfect to 300. Now this is with the smaller spring. Um, I am more RPS heavy on this guy. So, uh, you know, in terms of full auto and binary, um, they did include a second spring. Umbrella Army did include a second spring for me. It does turn up it to a 350 if I wanted to play a little bit more outdoor. However, I'm showing you guys first the indoor spring. Um, I'm not going to be doing a video on the outdoor spring just because um, for me personally, that's not what I'm going to be using. So I don't really want to mess with the gun too much. But again, 299.8 as an average for the FPS, and that was on semi. So we're gonna undo that, empty out the gun. 
We'll put a new mag in and we are now gonna be doing full auto. So we'll see how it does in full auto. So let's just clear this guy out first. All right, and here we go. So this is it with again, 0.28 on full auto. All right, so a much lower FPS there. Again, this is full auto. I think it is 55 RPS. Again, I could be wrong, but 55 RPS, the average was only 188. So 188 on full auto. Um, this is with a full power, be, uh, full power battery as well. So a little bit inconsistent there. Um, the maximum for FPS was 205 and the minimum was 165. So uh, nowhere close to that 300 that we were just hitting before. Um, but now lastly, we are gonna try with the binary setting. So we're gonna go back to binary and we are gonna see how the FPS matches with that. And uh, we also had 96 shots on there. So around 100 as well. Um, so let's begin with binary with 0.28s. All right, so we had 120 shots there, 120 shots. The minimum on this guy was 287 for a uh, FPS and the maximum was 308. So we had an average of 300.8. So with binary and semi, this guy is literally perfect. Um, you will be getting directly what Umbrella Armory says. Um, this has been used multiple times too. It's not like I got it straight out of the box. So Umbrella Armory, they're advertising on this guy at 300 FPS and 350. I don't know about the 350. I'm sure it's the same, but clearly the 300 has been tuned fine perfectly to hit that 300 almost every single time. So great job in that aspect. And then now what we're going to be doing is taking a look at the length test, the distance test. So let me get this guy out of the way. Let me turn the run cam on and we are going to see how well this guy performs. All right. Sorry about that, guys. So we are back. Um, it seems like my run cam wasn't doing too well in the cold. I had fully charged it, but it seemed like the battery had just stepped out of it. However, she's back and ready to go. I do have a battery plugged in. So what we're going to do be doing now is seeing with 0.28, a range test of both semi, full auto and binary. So here we go. So this is with semi at 2.8. So let's say I wanted to hit the tree in the middle. I want to hit that dot. A little bit of a spread for sure. Definitely a spread um, with the semi. Again, this is outdoors, a little bit colder out, so it doesn't perform as well as it could. Um, however, it is staying pretty accurate. So if I was aiming at someone over there, I would be able to definitely hit them. So that is one of the plus things about this gun. We are now going to be taking a look at the spread at full auto with the run cam as well. So definitely a lot more spread. And again, because it is using so much more of a FPS, so it's 55 versus R45 and a slower spring, you're not getting as fast of FPS and it's not going the distance. Me personally, I don't use automatic because my fields don't allow it. So either way, it doesn't really matter to me. Same thing with binary, but again, just to take a look and see how it performs. So that's the end of the mag. So again, not too great with the binary, more semi. Semi definitely seems to be the way to go. Um, so if you are gonna be running a QRF um, from Umbrella Armory in game with the higher RPS, if you use full auto, great. If you don't, better um, because definitely more accurate with that. Again, the spread isn't on target, but this isn't a DMR. You know, This is not a gun that is supposed to be dead on. This is a gun that's more for portability, uh, for more quickness, more speed, and uh, just kind of getting a lot of rounds off at once. So. Um, all in all, great gun. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to head it back out here during the nighttime to see how the tracer rounds perform in the nighttime. So we'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys. So now that we just finished up the field test, we're coming into the nighttime and we're going to be doing the tracer test. So we're going to be taking a look about how this guy looks um, with the rate of fire. I think of it's 45. It could be 55 as well. Um, as known in the last OCA video, I'm not very good with the uh, FPS, but let me know in the comments what you guys think it is. Um, but again, it's either 45 or 55, and we're going to be taking a look on how it looks. Hopefully, the Nevesky uh, Tracer does okay with keeping up with the BB pace. But uh, but yeah, we've got two mags to go through, and uh, we're going to see how the spread looks, as well as just kind of overall um, how we would look in the nighttime, so you guys can get a sense of how cool it'll look in the indoor setting. Um, but we're going to be doing semi, full auto, and binary, so you guys can see you can look at all three. I've got two mags again to go through, so uh, let's begin this. 
So we're gonna start off with just semi. So the spread is very, very good. Um, it's straight down the middle. I don't see a spread. Like It does go up a little bit, but again, it is pretty windy out and it's freezing cold. Um, again, it is Massachusetts and we are December, so it does get uh, pretty chilly out here, night and windy. Um, sorry for the audio if that is affecting it. I will try to edit it out later in the video, but uh, this is going to be full audio now. So here's full, full audio, full auto. So it definitely raises up. Um, again, so it's not a super, super long piece, um, especially in the nighttime with the windy conditions and the coldness. Um, but again, the spread was pretty all around in the center, um, but it did go up and fluctuate a little bit. So now we are going to take a look at the binary last, and then we're going to just finish off the mag with, again, full auto. So here is binary. So that was the best, probably the best spread I've seen so far. Um, because of that one-two punch rather than just full auto, um, it seemed to be more accurate. So I would definitely take binary over full auto. However, at my fields, both of them are illegal anyways, so I can't use it. Um, so semi is what I'd be using. But, uh, but yeah, so now let's head uh, back inside and uh, I'll finish it up in there. All right, guys. So I'm just going to wrap up the video right here. Um, thank you guys first for all for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, we're almost at a thousand subscribers, so if we could hit that goal by this video, that would be amazing. Um, if you guys did like it, feel free to uh, leave a like and comment about what you liked. And if you didn't like it, let me know. Um, you know, I'd love to hear the feedback. But um, but yeah, especially with that RPS, is it 55 or is it 45? Definitely let me know in the comments for that. Um, but yeah, again, if you guys loved the video, liked it, whatever, just hit the like button. It does help me um, in every way, shape, and form. Um, but all around, I thought the BLR was a great gun by Umbrella Armory. Thanks to them for sending it out um, and letting me use it. And um, the biggest thing, though, is the video. So I am going to be coming out with a BLR gameplay video as soon as I can get to a field once uh, Battlegrounds reopens. So definitely keep an eye out for that. That should be my next video, depending on if I can get there before I leave for college. If I can't, then I have a couple more gameplay videos coming out um, until I get back from college. So um, thank you guys for watching this one, and I will see you guys all in the next one.